Shalom, good afternoon, and welcome to day 13 of our fasting and prayer uh, concerning releasing the feet of planet shakers or the foot soldiers emerges. Amen. I'm sorry that we a little bit late. We are in the studio at Arise Films in Ramberg where we do the production. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Amen and amen. I hope your fast is going well. I mean, I know that a lot of people like, how can your fast be going? How can you be enjoying your fast? Well, um, you can enjoy your fast when you see uh, the reason why God is calling us to a fast. And God doesn't call us to just sacrifice, to fast for nothing. The Bible says he's not called the sons of Jacob to seek him in vain. And I believe that this fast, uh, God has been waiting for the emergence of uh, foot soldiers. Let me tell you something a lot to me a few years ago. God said to me, I need five men to take Johannesburg. I mean, when God looks at cities, he's looking at, okay, I, I need to take this city back. And when he told me that, he said, I mean, there are hundreds of <clears throat> pastors, prophets, and apostles that are in the city of Johannesburg. But Lord said to me, I need five men to take the city. Now, behind those five men are going to be foot soldiers, just like David's mighty men. God needed one David king, but God needed David to have mighty men to be able to advance the purpose of which he was bringing him to, um, to, to the leadership. So um, if you're one of those five men that God needs to take this city, uh, maybe you're going to be operating from the marketplace. You're going to need foot soldiers. You're going to need your foot to be in alignment in a kind of place where it's not weak, where it's not lame, where your feet is talking in the realm of the spirit. You know, when you see people who can dance, you see their feet is talking. When you see athletes, you see their feet, you know, <clears throat> talking. But in the, it, the time has come where the feet of God's people need to be doing some talking. Hallelujah. And that's just going to happen because the prophecy that the seed of the woman, his feet will bruise the head of the serpent. That prophecy has been there in Genesis chapter 3. And guess what? Every time Satan hears a prophecy about what God is about to do, he goes to make a plan of how to make sure that thing doesn't happen. So when God spoke about the prophecy about the seed of the woman that will bruise the head of the serpent, guess what Satan did? He began to cause his fallen spirits to sleep with women in order to make sure that there's no pure seed on earth. And that's why there was a flood. Because what God was trying to do at that time, it's not that he was just wicked, going to kill people. He was trying to protect his agenda. And so the only pure family on earth at that time was Noah's family. Every other family was corrupted. So and God made sure that he was able to uh, preserve <clears throat> humanity through the seed of, um, of through the Noah seed. Now, you must understand that that was one. When the seed of the woman came, which was Jesus Christ, what happened? He birthed a church. And don't forget that the seed of the woman, his feet will crush or bruise the head of the serpent. So the, the body of that seed of the woman, Jesus is the head. His body is his church. We are the church. And so now it is our feet that will be used as the instrument to bruise the head of the, of the serpent. So when Satan looks at you, a believer, he understands that you have a prophecy. And your prophecy is that with your feet, you are going to crush his head. It means to say, you are going to have dominion. You are going to rule. And so he targets your feet. It's not a metaphor. It's spiritual reality that your feet carries a prophecy that will crush the head of the serpent, that will take back the territory where the serpent currently is holding dominion. So when the enemy looks at you, whether you know it or not, <laughs> hallelujah, he sees you as a threat. He sees you coming to as the as the feet of the seed of the woman. He sees you coming as what? As the feet of the seed of the woman who assignment is to bruise his head because we are his body. And if we are his body, we are carrying his feet. The head, Jesus, is in heaven. We are his body. And so therefore, the enemies, you don't even have to offend him. He already knows who you are. The same way when Moses was born, he knew that the timelines of the prophecy of Abraham, that God spoke to him that your seed for 400 generations 
will be in captivity. Satan marks prophecy. He understands the timelines of prophecy. And he knew that this was the time when the seed of, um, of, of liberation was going to be born. And so he gave a decree. Kill all the Hebrew male child. Hallelujah. Pharaoh might think he was just protecting his economy. He might just think, no, no, no. But beyond that, what was going on was that Satan was trying to abort the seed that would come to fulfill the word of the Lord, that they will leave this place and come to the land of Canaan, where God was setting up a holy nation in the making. That's what Satan understood, the timelines for that prophecy. And so when Satan looks at you, he understands the prophecy that you are carrying, that your feet is supposed to crush his head. You think he's going to leave your feet just to walk around? No, he's going to try to see how he can weaken your feet. The same way he tried to weaken the state of the woman so that she would not be able to give forth a pure seed that can become the seed of righteousness. So when you look at your feet, you don't know the transactions that are going on over your feet. And I'm, you know, labeled to show you from the word of God what your feet mean. The way, you know, some people's athletic feet means a lot. Neymar's feet, yeah, PSG earns half a million dollars every week. And I've come to tell you that your faith is worth much from that, more than that. Because the Bible tells us in Psalm chapter 8 that God made the moon, the sun, the stars. And the Bible says he has placed all things under the feet of men. And so therefore, there is authority on your feet. There is prophecy on your feet. So the enemy is after how he can make sure that your feet is not fulfilling what God spoke about. God spoke to Joshua, wherever the soles of your feet shall step, you shall possess. Right now, believers are not possessing the places where we step. We're not possessing cities. We're not possessing uh, 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 mountains. We're, we're in media. But what is our influence in the media? We just blend in. Because we don't have a mindset that, hey, I'm here to make sure that my feet is crushing, that my feet is winning, that my feet is talking. No, rather, we're, we are dancing to what is being played to the rhythm of the enemy. And God says, it's time to call out the feet of my foot soldiers. It's time to release their feet from every captivity. It's time and to do that to a 30 days fast. Hallelujah. And so I'm grateful to God that um, this fast is about making us to realize once, one more thing, the prophecy on our lives and the role that our feet has to play, that your feet are no ordinary feet, that your feet are spiritual. Your feet has an assignment in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, today is day 13. What is number 13? In, in, I know that a lot of people, when they hear number 13, they hear negativity. It's a bad number. Let me tell you something. I, I used to also think that number 13 was a bad number. And the Lord said to me, I have no bad numbers. Hmm? He does say, I didn't create any bad number. Oh, really? And he said, men might corrupt it. Give me my corruptive, but I don't have a bad number. I said, so what's number 13? Because everything I've seen in scripture, <laughs> 13 was wrong. <laughs> when God came to Abraham uh, to say, Abraham, walk before me and be thou uh, perfect. Abraham at that time had Ishmael. Ishmael was 13 years. God came to correct Abraham when Abraham was walking, you know, wrongly, walking out of God's word. He had settled that this Ishmael was this was the promise. No, you know, and God came and said, walk before me and be thou perfect and gave him <clears throat> the realignment of the covenant of the circumcision and all of that. Ishmael was 13. <clears throat> so every time we see a lot of things in scripture, uh, the Bible says in Genesis chapter uh, uh, 14 that the kings who, um, when Lot went to, when Abraham went to rescue Lot, the Bible said those kings served um, uh, another king for 13 years. In the 13th year, they rebelled. So every time you see 13 in scripture, rebellion comes out. But when I ask the Lord, if he says that 13 is not a bad number, what does it mean? Now let's look at the Jewish tradition. The Jewish tradition, the, the 13th year is the year when a child is bamisfad. Remember when we looked at the cycle of foundation, foundation is laid in 3, 7, 10, 12. That's how foundations are laid. The 12th year, uh, the 12th day, uh, I mean, 12 apostles, 12 hours a day, 12 tribes of Israel. So 12 is a number of completing foundations in the cycles of foundation. So when the foundation has been completed, what do you do? You break out. 
to a, a new dimension. So 13 in the Jewish tradition, when you bar, you bar misfire a male child in the 13th year, you mean he's broken out of that childish room. He's broken out of a particular age. So 13 is a breaking out. You are breaking out of a particular age you've been, of a particular circle that you've been. You can call it a breakthrough number, actually. You can call it a breakthrough because if you look at the traditions and the patterns in scripture that you lay foundations with 3, 7, 10, 12. So by the time you've laid foundations and you are now, what do you do? You are now breaking up. You are bringing up. You, because foundations are not seen, isn't it? Mm -hmm. we, if, where we are right now, you don't see the foundations of the house. It's hidden. So by the time you've completed foundations, but then what you do next, you break out. You bring out, but there is something backing it down. So if you see that 12 is the completing of the foundations, then 13 is the breaking forth, the breaking out to another realm, to another dimension of that which you've been. And I believe that God is breaking our feet out in this season. He's he said, break out to the right, break yeah. out to the left. You are, I'm breaking your feet out of circles. I'm breaking your feet out of certain uh, limits, certain realms where, you, where you, you've been not seen. I'm bringing your feet out to the spotlight, to the limelight in this season. I am breaking your feet out of cocoons. I'm breaking your feet out of obscurity. I'm breaking your feet out of, of the places where you've been. It's like, it's time to move out of here. It's time to move forward. Your feet is not going to be in the places where it's been known to be for mm -hmm. all this. Why? Because it's time to break out. Mm -hmm. In this season, I'm giving your, your feet a breakthrough anointing. Hallelujah. There are times you've been trying to move up. You be brought down, you're trying to break up because now I myself, the same way he said to Moses, I'm coming down and I'm getting my people out tonight. I am judging the gods of the land of Egypt and I'm, I am coming down. And, and when you receive a word like this, when you are fasting for a particular thing, you need to hold that word because that person he sent his word, mm -hmm. his word healed and delivered. It, it doesn't just heal you there, but he delivers you out of every destruction and in this season is it is time to appropriate and receive upon your feet and say Lord I receive the word I receive the grace for my feet to break out break out of cycles of limitation break out of being in one place break out of obscurity break out into realms and dimensions where I am moving forward where I'm fulfilling my prophecy I receive that word I want us to begin to thank the Lord and thank him for his word and say Lord I want to thank you that the season has come for my feet to truly break out, come out of, of you know, the, 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 the mundane, come out of where things have just been ordinary. We were in service a few weeks ago, and I looked at a woman, and the Lord said to me, I'm bringing that woman into a supernatural realm. You, you've been, I don't know what you've been, but let's say this is a season for your super, that word took the hold of this woman, took a hold and she came under the anointing, just a word, not somebody, just a word. The Lord said, break out and come into the supernatural. I believe that our faith is coming to a supernatural realm, that wherever you are right now, word of God is coming upon your feet and is moving you and you are coming into a supernatural realm where you are breaking out of the mundane, breaking out of what is normal, breaking out of the natural into a supernatural realm where God is going to be connecting your feet, moving your feet. Uh, I, I, I can see that in scripture when the hand of God came upon Elijah, when he'd been praying on a mountain and Ahab's chariot had been moving, the hand of God came upon him and, and, and the feet of Elijah began to do a speed that if he was at the Olympics, he would have shattered records. Hallelujah. How do you overtake chariots? How do you outrun chariots? God came upon him and his feet broke out of the natural limit where the feet could run. The feet, you know, for a feet to, to outrun horsepower engine. I mean, that was, it's like your feet outrunning a, 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 a car. A fast car. Not a broken car for that matter. That is when God begins to put upon your feet an anointing to break forth. Mm. To outrun. An anointing to outwork. An anointing to be able to move at the speed 
of light. Let's receive this word. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I just want to thank you for this word. I thank you for the grace for my feet to be able to break out, break forth, break through. I come to pray this word upon everyone who is receiving this word, who is in this fast. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the anointing for your a career, Master. Hey, there are some people's feet that have been held down, but your feet is breaking out. Whether your feet was held in the water, whether your feet was held in prison, whether your feet was held in witchcraft, COVID, you are breaking out of wherever your feet have been held down. You are breaking out. You are breaking forth. You are breaking through in a yakaru, wherever it is, where they have put stop on your feet, where they put mark on your feet. You are breaking forth. You are breaking out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The word of God comes with power. The Lord is breaking your feet out of the common lane. The Lord is breaking your feet out of the things that you were known for. The places where they have known and even forgotten you and said that is where you belong. God said no. I am breaking your feet. I'm breaking your feet. Whatever it is, whether they use policy, whether they use witchcraft to, to keep your feet in the same place. The Lord is saying, this is the season why the Lord himself is breaking your feet out. It's a breaking forth season. It's a breaking forth season. They broke out of slavery. They broke out of where, 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 where they were used to. They say, every day you resume duty here. You build bricks for Pharaoh. Every day you build the cities. And God said, I'm breaking your feet out of that pattern, of that command of that place where they have set you, where they expect you, where they have imposed you. You come here, they've already dictated your, your where your feet will be found. But God is breaking you out wherever the enemy has predetermined where your feet will be found. You know, if you know the amount of zombies amongst us, if you know the amount of where people are under an influence to, to report, where people have called, somebody take this word, where people have like you, you, you will come here whether you like it or not. I am calling your feet. It could be somebody else's husband, but he reports at the house of a mistress every evening because she calls his feet there. It could be somebody else's wife. She's under a spell. I heard of a, of a, of a strange pastor who, who was visiting on that church. You know, the man saw him doing signs and wonders on TV. I said, ah, this man is working in an anointing. I invited him to his church. And when he came there, he, when he gave the pastor's wife a complimentary card, the pastor's wife fell in love with the visiting pastor and followed him and told the husband, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm following this pastor. Hey, now, that other pastor did not even say to the pastor, I bet the wife, I bet you are married still to your husband. She, he took him. <laughs> and they went. She was, he was sleeping with that another man's wife. Because actually, and they were there for weeks and the church was praying. For the pastor's wife to be restored back to him. And when they were praying, then God gave the revelation that what is it that this man used? Then somebody remembered that she gave him, she gave the wife, the, the pastor's wife, a complimentary card. When he gave the woman the complimentary card, her feet, her heart, everything, when they began to pray, to break the point of contact, her feet was released. And she got off the Got out of that zombie, that trance, and she came back to her husband, who gladly took her back. I don't know whose feet have been trapped somewhere. I don't know whose feet have been stuck somewhere where they've not been able to move out, where they've not been able to climb the ladder, where they've not been able to move forward in life. The Lord is breaking you. You've tried, you've made effort, but you couldn't move forward. Your feet were stuck at a level. It could be spiritual level. It could be a financial level. But your feet is just stuck. It's the same, the same. Year come, year go. You know, happy new year. But nothing really new about the year. Because your feet is in the same place. I come to prophesy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That the Lord who has called us into this fast. Who is calling for foot soldiers. Who is releasing the foot, the feet of planet shakers. That his word, his anointing, his power comes upon your feet to move your feet 
out of every place where it's been stuck in on this 13th day. It's a breaking forth. Yes. It's a breaking through. It's a coming up yes. in the name of Jesus. Whatever has glued your feet, whatever has held your feet, whatever has tied your feet, wherever they tied your feet, whether they touched your feet with the feet of a dog, whether they touched your feet with the, with the feet of, of a strange animal as a point of contact. Some people are sleepy. They come to touch their feet with a strange animal. They come to touch their feet with the feet of a horse, with the feet of a dog, with the feet of whatever. I use that as a point of contact to begin to control their feet in covers. I come to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever they have used to touch your feet, whatever they have used to lock your feet down, whatever they have used to bind your feet, I come to declare and declare by the word of the Lord. Whether it's the feet of your spouse, it's the feet of your children, it's the feet of your brother, it's the feet of your sister, I invoke the blood, the blood of Jesus and the word of the Lord to release your feet and to cause your feet to break out, to break out, to break out, break out. Last night when I was praying, I saw a vision. I saw angels. They had, they had the technology. This technology, I can't even describe it. They were breaking the land, breaking grounds. So what is going on? They are breaking people's feet out of the ground. They are breaking. You know, the earth is a mystery. Do you know you are on earth and the earth is in you? Can you handle that? God is in heaven. Heaven is in God. That you can handle. But you know that you are on earth and the earth is in you. And you have no idea how many things that are in your life and, and how you also are connected to the earth where the earth can be used to manipulate your life. I come to pray that the angels of the Lord will go forth and break your feet out of every place where your feet is being controlled, where your feet is being, where strings are being used to hold back your feet. I come to pray that the hand of the Lord will cause your feet to break forth, break through, that you begin to experience in this season, breakthrough upon your feet, breakthrough upon your life that you never anticipated, that the hand of God will be upon his word and the angels of the Lord will untie your feet and cause your feet to begin to climb ladders and your feet will become steady. You will not run and fall. You will not walk and fall. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that the same hand that came upon Elijah, that made his feet to outrun horses, that that feet with that hand will come upon you and cause your feet to begin to break out, outrunning horses and chariots of men in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. There's a bread there. I brought it. Please quickly get it for me. Father, we thank you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus as we partake of this communion element. We well, thank you for the efficacy of the blood and the power of the blood. My Father, I thank you because you have called for foot soldiers in this season. Men and women that will run with your word. Men and women that will not just hear the word, they will be sitting as, as couch potatoes going to church every Sunday to hear a new word. But yeah, it's fine. Just give it to me. I'm already finished, so I just take one. In the name of Jesus, you know, sometimes when I do communion, I eat this all as communion. And my wife said, how can you eat only all of this? Are you eating the whole body of Christ? And I often say to her, in the day when communion was hard, it was a meal. You know, today we are used to this as holy communion. But this is how it was done. So hallelujah. So if you have this as holy communion, it's fine. Don't <laughs> I can see you guys in the studio. <laughs> yes, go ahead. <laughs> you can drink the whole of the The whole body of Christ. <laughs> but I will thank you. And the body of the Lord Jesus was broken for us. Amen. The blood of Jesus was shed for us. Amen. There are people whose feet need healing, spiritual healing, physical healing. There are people whose feet have been constrained, whose feet have been tied, whose feet have been weakened, whose feet have been cracked. It's actually lame feet. Father, heal our feet. Position our feet. Cause our feet to begin to experience a breaking forth, a breaking through anointing. Cause our feet to begin to walk.
walk in places we never thought could be possible in 2023. Yes, Lord. But at your word, you said to Peter, cast your net. Cast our feet to move forward. Mm. There are people who need to learn to walk again. They've been sitting for so long. Their feet have been programmed mm. to just go to work, but you are calling them to be entrepreneurs in this season. There are people who you are calling to run, to take a word and to go to another nation and declare it. You are calling for runners, yes. foot soldiers, the feet of planet shakers, because mm. our feet, that we not just hear this word, but our feet will be counted. By the time we get to eternity, we will hear, remember the day when this word came to us, yeah. where our feet, my father, could not just be kept in one place. You know, the Bible said the chains broke off the feet of Peter, broke off the feet of Paul and Silas, my father, and the prison doors open. Let every prison door, my father, begin to open for the feet of your people to walk out in the liberty of your spirit. I redeem these communal elements. I decree them holy and sanctified. I declare the lordship of the Lord Jesus upon this communion. As to partake of this communion, let the power of the blood of Jesus and the body of Jesus reach our feet, my Father, oh God. Strengthen our feet. Reposition our feet for your glory, for your exploits, for your testimony. In Jesus' precious name, amen. God bless you. The fast ends now. You can go ahead and eat your meal. And we'll still fast and we'll start again 3 a.m. And we'll meet again 3 p.m. God bless you. Thank you. Not done with.